Good day to you and welcome to Shepherd's Chapel Bible Literacy Quiz 14, number 14. And those of you that have not participated in the Bible quizzes before and those of you that have, we invite you to get a piece of paper and a pencil and number from 1 to 50. We'll have 50 questions on today's quiz. I'd like to thank those of you that have sent in questions for the Bible quizzes and invite you to continue doing so. I've been getting a few letters here lately, though. You might want to make the questions just a little bit easier. Well, maybe not. Uh, we were just talking before the program, and someone said, well, why don't you give an open book quiz? And I said, well, that's the purpose of the quiz. You take the quiz, and then you realize how much you need to open the book a little bit more. So with that, let's go ahead and get started with Bible Literacy Quiz 14 with question one. And question one comes to us from Lorraine in Colorado. Now blank is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And the choices are A, love, B, faith, C, chastity, and D, a clear conscience. I'll repeat all the questions and answers twice for the benefit of those that are taking the quiz by audio tape. Question one, now blank is the substance of things hoped for, for the evidence of things not seen. And the choices are A, love, B, faith, C, chastity, and D, a clear conscience. Question number two from Robin and Mark in Georgia. In one of his miracles, Christ Jesus spoke the words, Talitha kumi, which being interpreted means blank. And the choices are A, Damsel, I say unto thee, arise. B, take up thy cross and follow me. C, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Or D, none of the above. Question two. In one of his miracles, Christ Jesus spoke the words, Talitha kumai, which being interpreted means blank. And the choices, A, damsel, I say unto thee, arise. B, take up thy cross and follow me. C, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? D, none of the above. And from Larry in Tennessee, number three. Name the angel who told Zechariah, the father of John, the Baptist, he would have a son. It was blank. And the choices are A, Michael, B, Gabriel, C, Theophilus, or D, Lucifer. Question three, name the angel who told Zechariah, the father of John the Baptist, he would have a son. It was blank. And the choices are A, Michael, B, Gabriel, C, Theophilus, or D, Lucifer. Question four from Ike and Darlene in Texas. In what book of the Bible did Paul say, I am in as straight betwixt two, having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better? Is it A, Ephesians, B, Philippians, C, Galatians, or D, Philemon? Question four, in what book of the Bible did Paul say, I am as straight betwixt two, having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better? Was it A, Ephesians, B, Philippians, C, Galatians, or D, Philemon? Question five comes to us from Louise in New York. And they took blank coat and killed a kid of the goats and dipped the coat in the blood. Was it A, Reuben's, B, Judah's, C, the dreamers, or D, Joseph's? Question five, and they took blank coat and killed a kid of the goats and dipped the coat in the blood. Was it A, Reuben's, B, Judah's, C, the dreamers, or D, Joseph's? Number six from Brenda in Arkansas. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may blank. And the choices, A, know how ye ought to answer every man. B, be understanding what the will of the Lord is. 
C, walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing. D, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto man. Repeating question six, let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may blank. The choice is A, know how ye ought to answer every man. B, be understanding what the will of the Lord is. C, walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing. Or D, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto man. And from the Summers family in South Carolina, question seven. How old was Joseph when he stood before Pharaoh, king of Egypt? And the choices are A, 20, B, 30, C, 35, or D, 40. Question seven. How old was Joseph when he stood before Pharaoh, king of Egypt? Was he A, 20, B, 30, C, 35, or D, 40? And question and eight from James and Loretta in California. If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, ye do well. What is the royal law? A, the Ten Commandments. B, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. C, thou shalt love the Lord thy God in faith, nothing wavering. Or D, none of the above. Question eight. If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, ye do well. What is the royal law? A, the Ten Commandments. B, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. C, thou shalt love the Lord thy God in faith, nothing wavering. Or D, none of the above. The Bush family in Arkansas sends question number nine. Blank is a city so wicked and filthy that it is still used as an example for wickedness today. And the choices are A, Thebes, B, Carthage, C, Rizpah, or D, Sodom. Number nine, blank is a city so wicked and filthy that it is still used as an example for wickedness today. The choices are A, Thebes, B, Carthage, C, Rizpah, or D, Sodom. Number 10 from Grace in California. Name the prophetess who led the women of Israel in a victory dance after the Lord delivered them from the bondage of the Egyptians. Was it A, Miriam, B, Deborah, C, Sarah, or D, Shifra? Question 10. Name the prophetess who led the women of Israel in a victory dance after the Lord delivered them from the bondage of the Egyptians. Was it A, Miriam, B, Deborah, C, Sarah, or D, Shifra? And from Tawana and David in Virginia, question 11. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord hath given me are a for blank and for blank. The, question, the choices are A, signs and for wonders, B, blessings and for curses, C, wonders and for miracles, or D, signs and miracles. Question 11, behold, I and the children whom the Lord hath given me are for blank and for blank. The choices are A, signs and wonders, B, blessings and curses, C, wonders and miracles, D, signs and miracles. And number 12 from my favorite two ladies in Florida, Melba and Dolly. I hope you all are doing well and healthy. Number 12, how many Philistines did Samson slay with the jawbone of the ass? And the choices are A, 500, B, 1500, C, 1000, or D, 3000. Number 12, how many Philistines did Samson slay with the jawbone of the ass? A, 50, excuse me, A, 500, B, 1500, C, 1000, and D, 3000. Number 13 from Lorraine in Colorado. Among those that are born of women, there is not a greater prophet than blank. Was it A, Paul, B, John the Baptist, 
C, Jesus, or D, Isaiah. Number 13, among those that are born of women, there is not a greater prophet than blank. And the choices are A, Paul, B, John the Baptist, C, Jesus, or D, Isaiah. From Lorelei in California, question number 14. And Joseph went up to bury his father, and with him went up all the servants of Pharaoh, the elders of his house, and all the elders of the land of blank. And the choices are A, Israel, B, Canaan, C, Egypt, or D, Syria. Number 14. And Joseph went up to bury his father, and with him went up all the servants of Pharaoh, the elders of his house, and all the elders of the land of blank. The choice is A, Israel, B, Canaan, C, Egypt, or D, Syria. Question 15 from Serena in Arkansas. Serena is eight. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of blank. The choice is A, the last generation, B, the Son of Man, C, the Wicked, or D, the End Times. Number 15, And as it was in the days of Noe, which is the Greek for Noah, so shall it be also in the days of blank. And the choices are A, the Last Generation, B, the Son of Man, C, the Wicked, or D, the End Times. From Connie in Indiana, number 16. God told Abraham to take Isaac to the land of blank and offer him there for a burnt offering. Was it A, Canaan, B, Moriah, C, Shinar, or D, Goshen? Number 16. God told Abraham to take Isaac to the land of blank and offer him there for a burnt offering. Was it A, Canaan, B, Moriah, C, Shinar, or D, Goshen. Number 17 from Bill in Missouri. Jesus said the scribes and Pharisees transgress the commandment of God by blank. A, their hardness of heart. B, their stubbornness. C, their tradition. Or D, their blindness. Number 17 once again. Jesus said the scribes and Pharisees transgress the commandment of God by blank. The choice is A, their hardness of heart, B, their stubbornness, C, their tradition, or D, their blindness. Number 18 from Deborah in Arkansas. Loose thy shoe from off thy foot, for the place where thou standest is holy was said to blank. The choices A, Moses, B, Paul, C, Joshua, or D, John the Baptist. Number 18, loose thy shoe from off thy foot, for the place whereon thou standest is holy, was said to blank. A, Moses, B, Paul, C, Joshua, or D, John the Baptist. Number 19 from E.W. in Florida. Abraham believed God and it was imputed unto him for blank. Was it A, mercy, B, repentance, C, righteousness, D, knowledge? Number 19. Abraham believed God and it was imputed unto him for blank. And the choice is A, mercy, B, repentance, C, righteousness, or D, knowledge? And from Brian in West Virginia, number 20. For which son did Israel make the coat of many colors? Was it A, Benjamin, B, Isaac, C, Levi, or D, Joseph? Number 20. For which son did Israel make the coat of many colors? Was it A, Benjamin, B, Isaac, C, Levi, or D, Joseph? From Bill in Missouri, number 21, 
Jacob and his household resided in the land of blank before coming to Goshen? Was it A, Egypt, B, Canaan, C, Samaria, or D, Israel? Number 21, Jacob and his household resided in the land of blank before coming to Goshen. Was it A, Egypt, B, Canaan, C, Samaria, or D, Israel? And from Dorothy in California, question 22. Blank asked Jesus, how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Was it A, Peter, B, Thomas, C, Philip, or D, Judas? Number 22. Blank asked Jesus, how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And from Connie in Indiana, question 23. How old was Noah when he died? The choices, A, 640, B, 580, C, 950, or D, 875? Question 23, how old was Noah when he died? A, 640, B, 580, C, 950, D, 875? Number 24 from Serena in Arkansas. Number 24, the words of the wise man's mouth are gracious but the lips of a fool will blank. And the choices A, swallow up himself, B, swallow up some other fool, D, swallow up a wise man, D, swallow up himself. And the choices on number 24, that last one should be D, swallow up a gracious fool. And I'll repeat question 24. The words of a wise man's mouth are gracious, but the lips of a fool will blank. And the choices are A, swallow up himself, B, swallow up some other fool, C, swallow up a wise man, or D, swallow up a gracious fool. Number 25 from Melba and Dolly in Florida. Absalom, the son of David, had a fair sister whose name was blank. And the choices are A, Abigail, B, Hulda, C, Tamar, or D, Bernice. Choice number 25 again, Absalom the son of David had a fair sister whose name was blank. And the choices are A, Abigail, B, Hulda, C, Tamar, or D, Bernice. And from Bernice in Florida, question 26. And he stood between the dead and the living and the plague was stayed. The he referred to in this scripture is blank. Is it A, Aaron, B, Jesus, C, Moses, or D, Abraham? Question 26, and he stood between the dead and the living, and the plague was stayed. The he referred to in this scripture is blank, and the choices are A, Aaron, B, Jesus, C, Moses, and D, Abraham. From Priscilla and Sandra in Tennessee, number 27, who was Melchizedek? And the choices are A, King of Salem, B, Priest of the Most High God, C, Christ, or D, all of the above. Question 27, who was Melchizedek? And the choices, A, King of Salem, B, Priest of the Most High God, C, Christ, or D, all of the above. Number 28 from Dennis and Lori in Connecticut. How long was Jacob made to wait before he could take Rachel as his wife? And the choices are A, seven years, B, 14 years, C, seven years and one week, or D, 14 years and one week. Number 28, 
How long was Jacob made to wait before he could take Rachel as his wife? A, seven years, B, 14 years, C, seven years and one week, or D, 14 years and one week? Number 29 from Gerald in North Carolina. Cush, the son of Ham, begat blank, whose kingdom was Babel. Was it A, Canaan, B, Ishmael, C, Nimrod, or D, Esau? Number 29, Cush, the son of Ham, begat blank, whose kingdom was Babel. Was it A, Canaan, B, Ishmael, C, Nimrod, or D, Esau? Question 30 from Ike and Darlene in Texas. The word rapture is found in the Bible blank times. And the choices are A, 7, B, 1, C, 2, D, none of the above. Question 30. The word rapture is found in the Bible blank times. And the choices are A, 7, B, 1, C, 2, or D, none of the above. Number 31 from Brenda in Arkansas. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never blank. The choices A, forsake thee. B, suffer his children to be forsaken. C, suffer the righteous to be moved. D, leave thee. Number 31. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never blank. The choices A, forsake thee. B, suffer his children to be forsaken. C, suffer his righteous to be moved. Or D, leave thee. Uh, from Doug in Texas, question 32. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in blank. And the choices, A, the name of the Lord Jesus. B, sincere love. C, obedience or D, praise. Number 32, and whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in blank. Choices, A, the name of the Lord Jesus, B, sincere love, C, obedience, or D, praise. From Louise in New York, question 33, and blank said to Jacob, behold this heap, and behold this pillar, which I have cast betwixt me and thee. Was it A, Esau, B, Simeon, C, Levi, or D, Laban? Number 33, And blank said to Jacob, Behold this heap, and behold this pillar, which I have cast betwixt me and thee. Was it A, Esau, B, Simeon, C, Levi, or D, Laban? Number 34 from Mark and Robin in Georgia. Jesus prayed to the Father, If it be possible, let this cup blank. And the choices are A, run over, B, pass from me, C, change to wine, D, none of the above. 34, Jesus prayed to the Father, If it be possible, let this cup blank. A, run over, B, pass from me, C, change to wine, or D, none of the above. From Dorothy in Tennessee, number 35, which of these books in the Bible contains only one chapter? And the choices are A, Ruth, B, Micah, C, Obadiah, or D, Nahum. Number 35, which of these books in the Bible contains only one chapter? Is it A, Ruth, B, Micah, C, Obadiah, or D, Nahum? From Linda in Tennessee, question 36. Blank was the first to make the enemies of Israel hewers, I'll say, of wood for the temple of the God. The choices are A, Aaron, B, Joshua, C, David, or D, Solomon. 
Question 36. Blank was the first to make the enemies of Israel hewers of the wood for the temple of God. And was it A, Aaron, B, Joshua, C, David, or D, Solomon? Kenneth from Oklahoma, question 37. Both Moab and ben -Ami are the children of blank. And the choices are A, Lot, B, Ishmael, C, Jacob, or D, Laban. Number 37, both Moab and ben -Ami are the children of blank. And the choices are A, Lot, B, Ishmael, C, Jacob, or D, Laban. And from Fran in Oklahoma, question 38. Behold, I come quickly. Blank is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. A, blessed. B, worthy. C, cursed. Or D, wise. Number 38. Behold, I come quickly. Blank is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Was that A, blessed. B, worthy. C, cursed, or D, wise. The Proctor family in Georgia sends us question 39. With a dagger in his left hand, blank killed Eglon, the king of Moab. And the choices are A, Jabin, B, Othriel, C, Ehud, or D, David. And question 39, with a dagger in his left hand, blank killed Eglon, the king of Moab. And the choices are A, Jabin, B, Othniel, C, Ehud, or D, David. Lorraine in Colorado sends us question 40, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more blank. And the choices are A, sin, B, C, C, war, or D, tears. Number 40 once again, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more blank. Was it A, sin, B, C, C, war, or D, tears. Number 41 from Gerald in North Carolina. Hagar, Sarai, that's before uh, Sarai's handmaiden, bare Abram a son whom God named blank. Was it A, Ishmael, B, Benjamin, C, Cush, or D, Emmanuel? Number 41, Hagar, Sarai's handmaiden, bare Abram a son whom God named blank. Was it A, Ishmael, B, Benjamin, C, Cush, or D, Emmanuel. Number 42 from Bill in Missouri. All the souls that came with Jacob into Egypt, Egypt excuse me, which came out of his loins, besides Jacob's sons' wives, all the souls were blank. And the choices are A, one score and six, B, two score and six, C, three score and six, or D, four score and six. All the souls that came with Jacob into Egypt, which came out of his loins, besides Jacob's sons' wives, all the souls were blank. And the choice is A, one score and six, B, two score and six, C, three score and six, or D, four score and six. Number 43 from Rochelle in Wisconsin. Abraham was blank years old when he was circumcised of the flesh. And the choices are A, eight days, B, 40, C, 99, or D, 100. Number 43, Abraham was blank years old when he was circumcised of the flesh. A, eight days, B, 40, C, 99, or D, 100. Forty-four from Lorraine in Colorado. But they that blank upon the Lord shall renew their strength. 
And the choice is A, call, B, trust, C, rely, or D, wait. And the question 44, but they that blank upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And the choice is A, call, B, trust, C, rely, or D, wait. Number 45 from Sheldon in Colorado, age 11. Let us break their blank asunder and cast away their blank from us. And the choices are A, threads and cords, B, yarn and ropes, C, bands and cords, or D, hearts and bones. Number 45, let us break their blank asunder and cast away their blank from us. The choice is A, threads and silk or cor and cords, B, yarn and ropes, C, bands and cords, or D, hearts and bones. Bill from Texas sends question 46, blank cursed Canaan, the son of Ham. And the choices are A, God, B, Noah, C, Abraham, or D, Moses. Number 46, blank cursed Canaan, the son of Ham. Was it A, God, B, Noah, C, Abraham, or D, Moses? The Bush family in Arkansas sends 47. Joseph took an oath of the children of Israel saying, God will surely visit you and ye shall carry up my blank from hence. And the choices are A, blessings, B, bones, C, belongings, or D, herds and flocks. 47, once again, Joseph took an oath of the children of Israel saying, God will surely visit you and ye shall carry up my blank from hence. Choices A, blessings, B, bones, C, belongings, or D, herds and flocks. Lee in Florida sends question 48. Blank said, if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of God, ye cannot overthrow it, lest haply ye be found to fight even against God. Was that A, Nicodemus, B, Paul, C, Pilate, or D, Gamaliel? Number 48, blank said, if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of God, ye cannot overthrow it lest haply you be found to fight even against God. A, Nicodemus, B, Paul, C, Pilate, or D, Gamaliel. Number 49 from Brenda in Idaho. He that heareth you heareth me, and he that despiseth you despiseth me, and he that despiseth me blank. The choices are A, despiseth himself, B, despiseth life, C, despiseth him that sent me, D, has not the love of the Father in him. Number 49, he that heareth you heareth me, and he that despiseth you despiseth me, and he that despiseth me blank. And the choices are A, despiseth himself, B, despiseth life, C, despiseth him that sent me. D, has not the love of the Father in him. Number 50, our last question on today's quiz from Sally in New Mexico. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, blank. And it's A, sacrificed a ram. B, sat down on the right hand of God. C, washed away the sins of all. D, all of the above. Number 50, but this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, blank. The choice is A, sacrificed a ram. B, sat down on the right hand of God. C, washed away the sins of all. Or D, all of the above. And that completes our quiz for today. The questions, we'll be right back after a short break to give the answers to today's questions. Uh, why don't you listen to this message a moment, please.
Ong's exhaustive concordance of the Bible is an invaluable tool to the serious Bible student. The Strong's concordance lists every word used in the Bible and every passage where the word utilized may be found in the scriptures. With the assistance of a reference numbering system, the English reader may easily translate any word back to the original Hebrew, Chaldee, or Greek in which God's word was written. The Companion Bible is a unique study Bible. In addition to the text of the King James Version Bible, an extra wide margin contains a wealth of information not found in other Bibles. A system of structures or outlines employed by the Companion Bible will allow the readers to rightly divide the Bible. The use of these structures help the reader follow the subject matter and therefore they are critical to an understanding of God's Word. The 198 appendixes found in the Bible cover a wide variety of topics and information which will enlighten your studies. The Companion Bible and Strongest Concordance are a must for the serious Bible student. All right, time to see how we did on today's quiz. I uh, would like to point out that if you didn't do very well on today's quiz, don't worry about it. Uh, take it as a learning experience. I think too many people think that they uh, have to do well on it or they're not a good Christian. That's not the purpose of the quizzes. The quiz is to encourage people to get into God's Word. That's the purpose of the whole Shepherd's Chapel ministry is to challenge people and drive them into the Word of God. We're going to give yourself two points for each correct answer today, making a possible perfect score of 100. And with that, let's go ahead and get started with the uh, answers to Bible Quiz 14. I'll be careful to give you both the letter and the complete answer in case you wrote down either. And question one, now blank is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And the choices are A, love, well let's go ahead with the correct answer there, and it is B, faith and your documentation, Hebrews 11, chapter 1. And number two, in one of his miracles, Christ Jesus spoke the words, Talitha kumai, which being interpreted means blank. And the correct answer is A, damsel, I say unto thee, arise. Documentation, Mark 5, 41. Number three from Larry in Tennessee again, name the angel who told Zacharias, the father of John the Baptist, he would have a son. It was and the correct answer is B, Gabriel, documentation, Luke 1, 13 through 19. Number four, in what book of the Bible did Paul say, I am in as straight betwixt two, having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better? And you'll find that in B, Philippians chapter 1, verse 23. Number five, and they took blank coat and killed a kid of the goats and dipped the coat in the blood. And the correct answer is D, Joseph's, and you'll find that in Genesis chapter 37, verse 31. Number six, let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may blank. The correct answer is A, know how ye ought to answer every man. You'll find that in Colossians chapter 4, verse 6. Number seven, how old was Joseph when he stood before Pharaoh, king of Egypt? And Joseph was B, 30. And you'll find that in Genesis chapter 41, verse 46. Number eight, if ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, ye do well. What is the royal law? And the correct answer is B, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And you'll find that in James 2, 8. Number nine, blank is a city so wicked and filthy that it is still used as an example for wickedness today. And of course that's D, Sodom, 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 6, among other places we'll document. Number 10, Name the prophetess who led the women of Israel in a victory dance after the Lord delivered them from the bondage of the Egyptians. And the correct answer is A, Miriam. And in Hebrew, uh, that word Miriam means rebelliously. And I'm sure she was pretty rebellious against the Egyptians. 
Number 11, Behold, I and the children whom the Lord hath given me are for blank and for blank. The correct answer is A, Signs and Wonders. Documentation, Isaiah 8, 18. Number 12, How many Philistines did Samson slay with the jawbone of the ass? Correct answer, C, 1,000, and you'll find that in Judges chapter 15, verse 15 and 16. Number 13, among those that are born of women, there is not a greater prophet than blank. Correct answer, B, John the Baptist, and you'll find that in Luke chapter 7, verse 28. Number 14, and Joseph went up to bury his father. And with him went up all the servants of Pharaoh, the elders of his house, and all the elders of the land of blank. The correct answer is C, Egypt, documentation, Genesis chapter 50, verse 7. Number 15, And as it was in the days of Noe, so shall it be also in the days of blank. The correct answer is B, the Son of Man. Luke 17, 26 to document. 16. God told Abraham to take Isaac to the land of blank and offer him there for a burnt offering. And that was B. Moriah, Genesis chapter 22, verse 2. Number 17. Jesus said the scribes and Pharisees transgressed the commandment of God by blank. And that's C, their tradition. And you'll find that in Matthew chapter 15, 3. 18. Loose thy shoe from off thy foot, for the place whereon thou standest is holy, was said to blank. And the correct answer is C, Joshua. Joshua 5, 15 to document. Number 19. Abraham believed God and it was imputed, which that means credited, unto him for blank. The correct answer is C, righteousness. You'll find that in James chapter 2, verse 23. For which son did Israel make the coat of many colors? And that, of course, is D, Joseph, Genesis 37, verse 3. We'll document that. 21. Jacob and his household resided in the land of blank before coming to Goshen. And the correct answer is B, Canaan. You'll find that in Genesis chapter 47, verse 1. 22. Blank asked Jesus, How can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And that was B. Thomas in John chapter 14, verse 5. 23. How old was Noah when he died? And the correct answer is C. He was 950. And you'll find that in Genesis chapter 9, verse 29. 24. The words of a wise man's mouth are gracious but the lips of a fool will blank. Correct answer is A, swallow up himself. And you'll find that in Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 12. 25, Absalom, the son of David, had a fair sister whose name was blank. And that was C, Tamar, and you'll find that in 2 Samuel 13, 1. 26, and he stood between the dead and the living, and the plague was stayed. The he referred to in this scripture is blank. And the correct answer is A, Aaron. You'll find that in Numbers chapter 16, verses 47 and 48. 27, who was Melchizedek? And the correct answer is D, all of the above. He was king of Salem, priest of the Most High God, and C, Christ. You'll find that in two documentations, John 8, 56 through 58, and Hebrews chapter 6, 20 through 7, approximately verse 3. 
Number 28, how long was Jacob made to wait before he could take Rachel as his wife? The correct answer is C, seven years and one week. And you'll find that in Genesis 29, 27. And of course, he committed to another seven years of bondage uh, for her, but he was allowed to take her to wife at that point, seven years and one week. 29, Cush, the son of Ham, begat blank, whose kingdom was Babel. Correct answer is C, Nimrod, and you'll find that in Genesis chapter 10, verses 6 through 8. Number 30, the word rapture is found in the Bible blank times. And the correct answer is D, none of the above documentation, the King James Bible. Of course, the correct answer is none at all. And if you don't care to read the entire King James Bible to disprove this question, you might uh, have think about getting a Strong's Concordance. If you don't have one, go to the main concordance and you won't find the word rapture in the Bible. Number 31, cast thy burden upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee. He shall never blank. The correct answer is C, suffer the righteous to be moved. You'll find that in Psalms 55, 22. That word moved, if you take it back to the Hebrew, means waver. So he will not allow the righteous to waver. 32, and whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in blank. The correct answer is A, the name of the Lord Jesus. Colossians chapter 3 verse 17 will document. 33, and blank said to Jacob, Behold this heap, and behold this pillar, which I have cast betwixt me and thee. And the correct answer is D, Laban, and that's documentation, Genesis chapter 31, 51. 34, Jesus prayed to the Father, if it be possible, let this cup blank. The correct answer is B, pass from me. And you'll find that in Matthew chapter 26, verse 39. 35, which of these books in the Bible contains only one chapter? And the correct answer is C, Obadiah, and the documentation could be Obadiah 1 or 2, but you won't find an Obadiah 2. There's only one chapter. Verse 30, uh, excuse me, question 36. Blank was the first to make the enemies of Israel hewers of wood for the temple of God. And the correct answer is B, Joshua. You'll find that in Joshua chapter 9, verses 23 through 27. And by the way, the enemies in, that mentioned in that verse are the inhabitants of Gibeon, which were Hivites. 37, both Moab and ben are the children of blank. And the correct answer is A, Lot, and Genesis 19, 36 through 38 to document. And as you know, uh, Lot was the... Uh, the mothers of both of these were Lot's daughters, and Moab in Hebrew means from a father. ben means son of my people. Both were begotten in shame and both had a shameful history. Question 38, Behold, I come quickly. Blank is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Correct answer is A, blessed. You'll find that in Revelation Chapter 22, verse 7. Number 39. With a dagger in his left hand, blank killed Eglon, the king of Moab. The correct answer is C, Ehud. You'll find that in Judges 3, 17 through 22. Now, Eglon, the king of Moab, was a very heavy man. Uh, some might call him fat. I think the companion Bible did so. Uh, his name in Hebrew, the prime of it, means a nearly grown steer. And when Ehud made his uh, dagger, which was a cubit long, uh, he ran it up in there and it just kind of disappeared. So old Eglon must have been a pretty heavy set fellow. Number 40, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, 
and there was no more blank? The correct answer is B, C, and the documentation is Revelation 21, 1. Number 41, Hagar, Sarai's handmaiden, bare Abraham a son whom God named blank. The correct answer is A, Ishmael, and that documentation is Genesis chapter 16, verses 11 through 15. Number 42, all the souls that came with Jacob into Egypt, which came out of his loins, besides Jacob's sons' wives, all the souls were blank. And the correct answer is C, three score and six. And you'll find that documentation in Genesis 46, 26. Number 43, Abraham was blank years old when he was circumcised of the flesh. And the correct answer is C, 99, and that documentation is Genesis 17, 24. Number 44, but they that blank upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And the correct answer is D, wait, and your documentation is uh, Isaiah 40, 31. And by the way, the prime of that word weight is a root meaning to bind together. Number 45, let us break their blank asunder and cast away their blank from us. And the correct answer is C, bands and cords, and you'll find that in Psalms chapter 2, verse 3. Number 46, blank cursed Canaan, the son of Ham. And the correct answer was B, Noah, Genesis chapter 9, verse 24. That's a common misconception by many that God cursed Canaan, uh, the son of Ham, and that was the result of the beginning of one of our races that we have today, but that's completely wrong. Uh, read it carefully in Genesis chapter 9, verse 24 and there's no need for any race to feel that their beginning was based on a curse from God. It was Noah that cursed Canaan. Number 47, Joseph took an oath of the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you, and ye shall carry up my blank from hence. And the correct answer is B, bones. You'll find that in Genesis chapter 50, verse 25. Number 48, blank said, if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of God, ye cannot overthrow it, lest haply ye be found to fight even against God. And that was, of course, a very wise man, D, Gamaliel. You'll find that in Acts chapter 5, verses 34 through 39. And you'll recall Gamaliel was the instructor or uh, mentor of Paul and educated Paul in the Word. 49, he that heareth you heareth me, and he that despiseth you despiseth me, and he that despiseth me blank. And the correct answer is C, despiseth him that sent me, being of course God, and documentation Luke chapter 10 verse 16. Number 50, but this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, blank. And that, of course, is B, sat down on the right hand of God, that man being Christ himself, documentation, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 12. And as I said earlier, we'll give ourselves two points for each correct answer. And I meant to get to uh, maybe changing the curve a little bit on the scores on this, so please don't take your score too seriously on this, but this kind of gives you a way to gauge how you're doing uh, with your studies in Father's Word. So two points for each correct answer. Uh, if you had a score of 90 to 100 is excellent. 80 to 89, very good. 70 to 79, good. 60 to 69 average, and below 60, as Pastor Murray says, better get cracking. 
and that means cracking your Bible open. And again, that's the whole purpose of the Bible literacy quizzes is to encourage you to get into Father's Word. If you don't know how to get started, well, I encourage you to find a good Bible teacher. I'm a little partial to one television Bible teacher. Uh, we invite you to join us here each weekday morning, uh, three, to three weeks out of each month for Pastor Arnold Murray's teaching. Uh, with a good teacher and a Strong's Concordance, uh, the Strong's Concordance, if you're not familiar with what that is, it allows you to take any word in the Bible, a King James Version Bible, and take it back to the Greek and Hebrew, whereby you can gain understanding of your Father's Word. I think many people read the Bible and they become frustrated. They can't keep up with the yees and the thous and these and that and don't understand everything that's there that Father would have you understand. And it was difficult. Can you imagine the difficulty in translating God's Word, which the Old Testament is, you know, written in the Hebrew and Chaldee, and the New Testament in Hebrew, excuse me, Greek, how in the world, you know, when you take off to translate that, you're going to lose going from one language to the other. The Strong's Concordance will help you keep up with that. And we encourage you again to join Pastor Murray here on Shepherd's Chapel Bible Study Hour, Family Bible Study Hour, and I think you'll enjoy it. Well, we're brought to you by your tithes and offerings, and if we've helped you, uh, help us keep coming to you. Again, I encourage those of you that are sending questions and those of you that have never sent a question for a Bible quiz, try it. It's fun. If you have discomfort in your life, if you're unhappy, open up God's Word. You'll find comfort there. And maybe just making up a Bible quiz question or two and send it in to us will help. Maybe your question will be on the next Bible quiz. But this is most important, and every day in His Word is a good day, and you know why. Jesus Yeshua is the living word. Hearing God's word with understanding will change your life. We hope you have enjoyed studying God's word here on the Shepherd's Chapel Family Bible Study Hour with Pastor Arnold Murray. If you would like to receive more information concerning Shepherd's Chapel, you may request our free introductory offer. Our introductory offer contains the Mark of the Beast audio tape, our monthly newsletter with a written Bible study, a tape catalog, and a list of written reference works available through Shepherd's Chapel. To request our free introductory offer by telephone, call 800-643-4645, 24 hours a day. You may also request our introductory offer by writing to Shepherd's Chapel, Post Office Box 416, Gravit, Arkansas, 72736. Once again, that's Shepherd's Chapel, Post Office Box 416, Gravit, Arkansas, 72736. We invite you to join us for the next in-depth Bible study each weekday at this same time. Thank you for watching today's program, and God bless you.